four or five minutes in front of you. Um, this man has spoken to me about a number of things I can talk about, and I chose purpose. Um, because right now, this is purpose in action. Uh, this is part of the plan of God for our life, and it is being manifested in front of us. And um, so that's why I choose that. Um, I want to speak with you about the fact that there is purpose in your mess. So in our life, um, there's been some messy stuff, but out of it comes out the purpose of God for our life, right? And for each one of us, uh, whatever mess that may be in your life right now or has been in your life, I want you to know that there is a purpose that God wants to accomplish through that mess. Sometimes we are busy crying over whatever has happened. We are busy mourning the loss of something or someone. Uh, when actually we need to pause and see what is the purpose that God wants to accomplish through this mess or through this situation that I'm going through. In that mess, number one, you see the power of God in action. You see the fact that He's a provider. You see him as the comforter. You see him as the healer. You see him as the deliverer. You just see many attributes of God that at the mess not taking place, you would not have known that part of God the way you would know him after the mess. So I wanted to know that in every mess, it's an opportunity for you to actually discover more of who God is in your life. But also, the mess is also used to reroute our direction. Sometimes you're going this way, but God actually wants you to go that way. And uh, if that mess had not happened, mm -hmm. if that business had succeeded, you would not have ended up where he actually really wants you to end up. If that relationship had worked out, you would not have ended up where he really wants you to end up. So in the mess, there's some new redirections that take place. But also the mess gives you an opportunity to follow the plan, the original plan of God for your life. I don't know what mess you're in right now, but I want you to know that even in all of that, there's an opportunity right now to follow the plan of God for your life. So don't waste the mess. Don't waste the heartache. Don't waste the problem. Because in the middle of the problem, there is a purpose. Now, having said that, obviously there is a purpose for your life, each one of us, because God has a plan for each one of our lives. So, but how do I know that plan? Maybe you're here right now, you're wondering, okay, so I'm hearing about this purpose thing, but how do I know it? Number one, you know it by understanding the passion that you have. What is that thing that you're most passionate about? Oftentimes, your passion is showing you the plan of God, what God wants you to do, Amen. what problem God wants you to solve. Maybe it's passion for children. Yes, you are to help them. Maybe passion for the homeless. Yes, you are the one called to help them. Maybe passion to preach the gospel. You are the one to do it. Whatever your own passion may be, right? That passion is an indication that this is an area that God wants you. But you know, some people may say, well, I don't really know what, what my passion is. Okay, well, where do you produce fruits right now? What is it that when you do it, there's a lot of results? Hmm, that may be an indication of something that God wants you to, to be continue to do. That may be an area that God is calling you. Other people fail at it, but whenever you do it, you do the best. I mean, you are the best at it. That's an indication of God's purpose for your life. Lastly, the Holy Spirit in you. For those of you who have a relationship with God, the Holy Spirit sometimes will begin to speak to you and begin to say, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Even in your mess, he will be speaking to you. This is what I want you to do. Well, guess what? Listen to him. And after you've listened to him, you have an idea of where you are to go. Set some goals. Take some action. Get some mentors. But get it done. Let it be a manifestation, such as what we are gathered for right now. Thank you very much. Amen.